Fufu they go with hot and juicy. How on a chicken? It go taste or it no go taste. It will surely this right. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for joining us on this other exciting episode of Kanes Number One Infotainment Show, Hot and Juicy. And I am your host, Miss Meg. When I should not find, we'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna dive straight into serious matters. Make no man no shake. I'll be right. Cameroonian rapper Teno got involved in a ghastly accident in the early hours of Thursday, 15th of July, around Karufu Besenge in Douala. Tenor was on his way to his hotel after an outstanding performance for a show he was invited as guest artist at the French Institute in Douala when this happened. Reports say the Mercedes car had three of them inside. Tenor, his driver, and a young Cameroonian lady of 22 years identified as Erika, who left Belgium for holidays in Cameroon. From the gravity of the accident because the car caught fire, the lady died on the spot. Teno and his driver are in a critical state now at the La Cantine Hospital in Zuala. The cause of the accident has not yet been revealed, but rumors say they were driving under the influence of alcohol when they took off. Others say it was an overspeed. The panic keeps rising as fans fear that the future of the very young, talented artist is at stake, as we all recall what happened to the late Ivorian superstar DJ Arafat. We pray they not get out of this safely because we are not done enjoying his music. Our sincere heartfelt condolences to the family of Erika who did not survive. May her soul rest in peace. If Kosi stops or starts to collaborate again, who cares? Guys, chill. These are not my words. These are words from a fan, Bati Are. He continues by saying that he brags a lot in this industry. He should use Stanley Eno as an example. So according to Bate Are, Stanley Eno is an artist to follow when it comes to good conduct in the music sector. A couple of days ago, Kamesh rap president Kosi got the internet buzzing by saying, I quote, I won't be doing any collaborations until further notice. Well, well how I be like my own music industry. I remember a few years ago, uh, MTV Music Awards winning Cameroonian artist Stanley Eno, after his collaboration with Dynasty Le Tigre, I think that was six years ago, said, Je ne ferai plus de collaboration avec un artiste camerounais. <laughs> Do you think Kos is going to have a rethink and come back on his decision, just like Stanley Eno with his numerous collaborations? Question de temps, affaire à suivre. Girl stripped naked because she stole a phone. This happened in Cameroon. I leave it up to you in the comment section to tell me was it right or wrong? Everybody is accusing everybody lately in the Cameroon music industry for proprietary issues. What did I say Wahala was again like? Okay, Wahala be like Cameroon music industry. The most recent accusation comes from Cameroonian rapper who goes by the stage name Strong Bangwa Boy. Yeah, only name for artists. Okay, he's accusing Cleo Gray and Abstrumenta for copying the beat to one of his songs, Jangi, I think the song was released one year ago, and they used it in their most recent song titled Reckless, released a week ago. First of all, come and miss Ibon and Jangi. If you not belong there, you not fit up than Jangi. They did for Tanya. Yeah. Didn't can get a no fit no, then can I come? The way we man no me tease, didn't then get a ala can. Floaty for for dang be heavy like hammer down. This journey to the top, they couldn't be any better plan. After listening to both songs, some fans disagreed with the accusation saying that there's no similarity between the two beats. I leave it up to you to judge. On the other hand, they are all colleagues in this industry. I don't know if Strong Bangwa Boy tried to corner Cleo Gray so that they can solve the issue amicably before bringing it on social media. Has social media become a court and fans magistrates to decide on who is right and who is wrong? 
Anyway, if this is true, why did Shwan Bangwa Boy not report this directly to YouTube for the song to be taken down, just like the case of Remy and Kosi on the song Mavi? Maybe this is just a strategy to pull attention to a song which was recorded one year ago and counts 4,000 views on YouTube. Two lions fighting for the same territory. Who's gonna overthrow the other? Retired Cameroonian and international soccer legend Samuel Eto and his male counterpart Jeremy Njitap are presently on the talk of war for the post of Feka Foot president. We currently have Seidu Bonbon Joya in the game. Who's gonna lead this very important Cameroon football institution? Let's show that be refused. The elections to decide on this will be taking place in a few months ahead. Do you think Samuel Eto's uh, achievements and past glories will play in his favor? Anyways, whether Samuel Eto or Jeremy Jitap is winning, whoever is winning, do you think we're going to have an improvement in the management? I mean, it's not a secret that Fika Foot is going through a lot now. If you were to decide between Samuel Eto and uh, Jeremy Jitap taking over Fika Foot, who are you going to choose? Presently circulating in Boya, Southwest region, are uh, rumors about Boya girls between the ages of 18 and 25 say more than 700 of them have been tested positive of the HIV virus. <sighs> more than 700, only in Boya. Gosh, okay now. Boys and girls presently living in Boya are momoing the HIV virus to each other like those famous urgent 2K. Gosh. I mean, what can we really learn from this? Nothing, right? To all viewers, parents, guardians, brothers, sisters, if you're having your children in Boya who are either there for studies or whatever reasons, please make sure you do advise them frequently on the dangers that comes with sexual immorality. And very importantly, to all these Yawo boys living in Moliko, please, I am begging you, Stop deceiving these young, naive girls with all the money, all the cash, all the fancy things you bring around, please. We all need them to focus on their studies or whatever reason. Stop distributing the HIV virus to people around. I'm not saying that only Yahoo boys are, inf are infected. Anyways, both boys and young girls, be very careful. Make sure you always protect yourself during sexual intercourse. That's all what we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. It is time for us to get it more interesting with the second segment of this program, which is the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs on our playlist this week. On the 10th position of our playlist is this beautiful song from Cameroonian artist Mystical. The title of the song is Koloba. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> Our number 9 video of the week is this beautiful song from Cameroonian rapper Young Time. The song is titled Good Night Flow. What's the point? If I don't do this for family, now my pretty sir. Never did get and go chop my money. I never set my goals and get and give me score. I never do couple goals for that one, I never score. Yeah, I find it funny. Your life is looking flashy. I eat the boy out of a club. But if I may have to share, then I send it on the ball. So Gomez comes up with this beautiful song titled Rush for Cash, occupying our eighth position. Rush for cash. Money say on my mind, got no, no time for bluffing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the fall out of my door. Money on my mind, I got no time for play, play. Our number seven video of the week is this beautiful collabo song from Cameroonian artist Kidzi Panemboko Fits Miracle. Coming up at the sixth position is this beautiful song titled Blessing from Cameroonian artist Crispy. So I wake up in the morning and I count my blessings Let them tell my story 
me to learn my lessons Occupying our fifth position on this countdown is this recently released song from Cameroonian rapper Malox. The song is titled On ne met pas le coeur. On ne met pas le coeur, là où les gens mettent le bas. On ne met pas le coeur, pas le coeur. On ne met pas le coeur, là où les gens mettent le bas. Popping up at the fourth position is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian artist Mus featuring Renew. The song is titled Twinkle Little Star. Perhaps too far to see The way you show me love It's in the mouth of me Could I be dreaming? I beg somebody don't wake me Do we the matter down the road? Occupying our third position of this countdown is this beautiful song titled Broken from Cameroonian artist Dr. Slay. Many years of lying, and I know, baby, no, I've been deeply broken, but I still play cool. I don't dare try to check sounds, but my heart is hot, though. If this is what they call love, then why does it hurt me so? Cameroonian artist Fish comes up at the second position with his recently released single titled Kakak. Our number one video of the week is coming straight away from multi award winning Cameroonian artist and producer Salatiel. The title of the song is Prisonier. It's a continuation of the Anita series. Watch and enjoy. Our pick of the week on today's episode features Cameroonian artist Daphne, who is now officially off the market. You can now henceforth refer to her as Mrs. Summer. Story long, but time short. Unfortunately, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite infotainment show, Hot and Juicy. And I was here to entertain you. You can call me Miss Bang. I'll be right back next week with so much more. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other opinion in relation to the gist I gave you on today's episode, make sure you leave it in the comment section. For more gist on Cameroon's entertainment industry, make sure you follow us on all our different social media platforms. We are available on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram and we are very much active on our website too please make sure you join our telegram group it's 237 showbiz and follow our new division 237 showbiz studios goodbye <laughs>